Welcome to PC Analytics. Today, we're gonna to dig into the differences between two top performing coolers, the Peerless Assassin 120SE versus Scythe Fuma 3. We've got our test bench right here, ready to put these coolers to the test and give you all the information you need to make the perfect choice for your setup. Both coolers feature a dual tower design with two fans and their own distinct look. The Peerless Assassin 120SE is a top performing budget cooler that has six exposed T-pipes and two 120 millimeter fans. This cooler comes in various colors and styles, but we'll cover the traditional look in this video. Next up is the Scythe Fuma 3, which has six heat pipes, polished top, and two 120 millimeter fans. In regards to installation, both coolers are a breeze to install, but we know you're here to see how these coolers differ, so let's dive into it. We've tested both coolers with the AMD 1500X CPU over idle, high, and overclocked temperatures, and have two sets of charts to show you. One that looks at performance normalized by percent speeds, and one that looks at performance normalized by sound. In a first set of charts normalized by percent speeds, we have temperatures on the left represented by the solid line, noise on the right represented by the dashed line, and percent speeds on the bottom. For this graph, lower is always better. At idle, the Peerless Assassin in blue has similar performance to the Fuma 3 in red. As we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the Peerless Assassin begins to outperform across the board. Additionally, the Peerless Assassin and the Fuma 3 have a similar noise profile. As we turn up the heat to 130 watts, we can see that the Peerless Assassin marginally extends its lead. In our second set of charts normalized by sound, we have timbers on the left, noise on the bottom, with lower being better. At idle, the coolers continue to perform similarly. As we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the Peerless Assassin begins to outperform for a given noise level. And when we push the CPU to 130 watts, we can see that this trend continues. If you're curious on how the Peerless Assassin stacks up against another top cooler, the Phantom Spirit, you should check out this video comparing these two coolers. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content and found it valuable, I invite you to support us by giving us a thumbs up or hitting that subscribe button. Your support is appreciated.